Keeping your money safe is a major concern for many savers. Over the past year, people have been pouring money into Series I savings bonds, an inflation-protected and nearly risk-free asset that's backed by the U.S. Treasury. But I-bonds may be losing some of their luster. Sharon Epperson is here, and she can explain why. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Becky. You know, if you bought I-bonds a year ago, your return over the past 12 months was around 8 percent. But starting today, you'll own about half of that over the next six months. As of today, May 1st, the annual rate on I-bonds is 4.3 percent through October. That rate consists of a fixed rate of nine-tenths of a percent and an adjustable rate based on consumer price index data. As inflation has declined, the adjustable rate on I-bonds has fallen. I-bonds were offering an annual rate of 9.62 percent from May through October of 2022 and then 6.89 percent from November 2022 through the end of April. Now at 4.3 percent, the annual rate on I-bonds is lower than some of the top rates on one-year CDs and high-yield savings accounts. That may be earning close to 5 percent. I-bonds also have some restrictions that may make them less favorable. You can only buy $10,000 worth each year. You can't cash them in for one year, and you'll lose three months' interest if you redeem them within five years. But I-bonds also offer key tax advantages for long-term savers. They're exempt from state and local income tax, which gives them a little edge over CDs. And you don't have to worry about the federal income tax until you either redeem them or until they mature at 30 years. Tuman says that makes it very easy to hold I-bonds for an extended period of time and not have to worry about taxes, Becky. Okay, so if you want to decide to leave I-bonds, you think it's a better situation to leave your money in a savings account for now or find some other bond? Because, I mean, T-bills right now, I think, are 5 percent. You can get a three-month T-bill for even more than these I-bonds. Exactly. It depends on what you need the money for and when you need it. If keeping that money in I-bonds or even T-bills with rising prices is meaning that you can't make your payments day-to-day -day or, or month-to-month -month in terms of credit card payments, other things. If you're carrying debt, it's not a good idea to be in I-bonds, T-bills, or you need that money in cash that you can get to quickly in a high-yield savings account. But if you do have that money and you don't need it right away, it is a smart move to think about whether or not the I-bonds make more sense, particularly with those tax advantages. Yeah, and just with all the news we're hearing this morning on the banking system, there are Americans who are still concerned about keeping their money, at least for now, if it's above $250,000, the FDIC insurance limit, are you worried about keeping that in the banking system? Well, I think there are some people that are worried about that, some people that still may not know that it's $250,000 for your account, per account, per individual. And I think it's important to also know that you can ask your bank if they're part of an IntraFi network, some type of banking network that will allow you, if you have more than $250,000, to spread that among many banks so that you have all of that money secure. I think people are still trying to figure out, how do I make sure I keep my money safe? And knowing that they have FDIC insurance, I think, is very important to point out, but to understand what those limitations are as well. Again, the T-bills, you can put them in government bonds, same exactly. thing, three or six month bonds, three months above 5 percent. And, and that's exempt from state and local taxes, too. I think you have to pay federal taxes exactly. on that, but not state exactly. and local. And there's no limit. You can put as much as you want in. And so that's why that's a good opportunity for a lot of people. There was a, that rush a year ago into I-bonds when we saw that over 9 percent. Everybody wanted it. But now there are other options. And I think it's a good opportunity to explore your options. Sharon, thanks very much. Sure.